This is what we hand feed all of our birds with, Katie's exact. Um, this bag just arrived today, will only last us at the moment with the number of birds we're feeding about three weeks. Um, and we're looking at about $70 a bag. So it doesn't go very far and it's fairly expensive. Here's the Katie's all mixed up, ready to go, and the series of syringes. Give them four three mil syringes to each bird at the moment that with all the birds that we've got. Um, when they're a bit younger, we give them a we give them a bit less. And here comes the first customer. Three nulls going in just like that. So this is a normal um, carrying. A little bit of pride. And over behind me, I've had a bird fly out of the bin and he's currently walking around our dining room floor. Sorry about all the squawking, but that's typical of feed time. Everybody wants to be fed now. Find our little flyer. Here's our little flyer. Come on, little one. And once they get into the hands feeding habit, they are ravenous. Because it's feeding into their crop, even when we've just finished feeding them, they still think that they're hungry and are wanting more. It takes a little while for them to start working the food out of their crop and into their digestive system. Katie's is mixed up with boiling water out of the jug. This one is a pearl, cinnamon pearl. You see that the colours uh, have a browny tinge to them. And then the regular scallop pattern of yellow and the cinnamon making it the pearl. Doesn't take very long to feed each bird. Um, when they're a bit younger, when we first lift them from the nest box, um, it can take quite a bit to get them to start taking the syringe, um, and just have to try and get them to a point where they realise that oh, that is actually food, and I'm feeling hungry, and it's time to get me some. So this is just a straight cinnamon and he's carrying a little bit of the pied jean as well. You can see the yellow marks on the back of the head. We're 
currently hand feeding 16 birds um, and, the hand, and the feeds happen five times a day, every four hours throughout the day. So usually for us it's 8 in the morning, 12, 4, 8, and then the final feed at midnight. And I get a good 8 hours sleep at least, and come back for more the next morning. This is a fully tied bird, um, strong yellow colouring and random patches of either white or yellow, in this case it's yellow. And dark grey colours is denoting a, a normal as opposed to a cinnamon pie. left hand is just, the fingers of my left hand are just sitting either side of the head and just guiding the bird onto the syringe. They can have a tendency to at times pull away and we end up wasting all the food down their front. Um, even if they've got hand guiding them like this, they still pull off the syringe and we end up spreading a bit of food all over them. This one here is a cinnamon brown colouring, pearl on the wings, you can see the pearling on the wings, and pied. Um, this is one that we are going to keep for ourselves. Um, very, very stunningly pretty bird. She will we, be um, part of our breeding stock for years to come. Already got a lovely crest formed. And this one is just a standard cinnamon pearl. We help maintain the temperature of the mixed feed by sitting it in a larger bowl of um, boil, boiling water, well, boiled water out of a jug. Um, it helps maintain the temperature at about the right length of time for the full duration of, the, of our feeding cycle. Another one of our normals, just a little wee feather there showing a little bit of pied. Um, probably even has so often 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 of those the split pied will have only a toenail um, that is a different colour to all the rest and that's enough to show that they're carrying the pied gene, even though they may look totally normal in all other sense, all other 
visible ways. You have to be very careful in feeding them. If, if I get the squeeze of the syringe wrong, um, I could end up squirting food down into their lungs and drowning them, which is not at all fun. If you're quick when it does happen, you can actually manage to save the bird. You've got to be really quick. Certainly not something for the faint hearted. So this is another pied. temperature of the syringes to see whether I need to actually change the water in the bowl and get the temperature back up to where it should be. Um, if it's too cold the food settles and dries in their crop and you can't they can't process it into their digestive system it just becomes a solid lump of crud. A very technical term that. It basically becomes worthless. Another cinnamon pearl. Very striking colours and patterns on this one. Every bird is quite different. They all have quite different personalities. Um, we get to the stage where some birds we think we can never sell them and then somebody will walk in, we open up the cage, the bird will hop out onto their hand and that's it. They know who they want to go home with. So that's number 10 done. <coughs> One, two, so this is about our 11th, so all these birds here are non-flighted. Um, they're still too young, they haven't got to the point where they are able to fly. Um, once they do fly, we then switch them out of our storage bin and put them in the cage with, older, with some older birds um, and they start then the process of weaning from the purely liquid cadies onto solid food. Uh, solid food we use fresh and frozen vegetables diced apples and seed. Um, the seed we use is top white, um, grown here in New Zealand. for our breeding stock. So we've got a cinnamon pearl pie and a pearl pie that we are keeping for ourselves. Um, so that hopefully in the future if they breed with the right birds we'll get more of these. Um, very strong striking colours 
and is very popular with people wanting a pet. So this one's cut, this one's flying um, and is now living in a cage over behind me. Similar to the like a piebald horse, 
which has irregular patterns of colour. The pearl is a regular pattern, the pied is an irregular pattern. And that's your four. So that's 16 birds fed.